the app that we've been building that we haven't been live for a while. But we've decided it's Monday morning, where well, it is Monday morning for us, it might be Sunday night for you. Um, we decided that we're going to jump on and we're going to discuss one thing. And this, this, this thing. That one thing there, it will all become <laughs> clear in just a moment. But um, this, so this has come about because we did one of our Zoom coaching sessions the other night where members of our community, they upload footage and we all jump on a big Zoom call and we go through and we give them some feedback on what they could do to improve, whether that's surf skate training, whether that's some of the other land drills that we do, or whether that's stuff in the water. And there was one common thing that came up time and time again, so one mistake that they're all making. 20 people posted, was it the cutback that we were talking about? And it was just like... Yeah, 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 the cutback. Regardless of the cutback, look at this, one recurring habit that came up time and time and time again. Yeah. And I was literally the... Well, don't, don't, you've given a little bit of a clue away already. So what I want to do, what, what I want to do to make this, to make this intriguing and interesting uh, for you and to see if you can pick up on what it is, we're going to play a bit of footage that I took when I went down to the wave pool. And this was, this was a good few months ago. And I want you to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so we're going to play about a minute of it. And I want you to see if you can spot... See if you can... Sort of, hey, Nico, Nico is... Is, is, is live online. He's actually just around the corner, just here doing some editing. But Nico is, Nico is on. At least, at least we know Nico's not doing any work and he's actually watching us when he can actually listen to us. Yeah. He, he's got it in like uh, surround sound currently. So let me get uh, happy old Nico off of the screen. So what yeah. we're going to do is we're going to play the iPad. And I want you to see if you can spot a common mistake that I'm going to say, what, 95% of these people are making in one way, shape or form. Yeah, it's a common denominator. Common denominator. Okay, so let's bring the iPad up. We'll play the footage. And as you watch through, see if you can spot what the mistake is. You've got a bit of a clue if you're watching from the very beginning because Clay kind of did something. Hey, Sergio, how are you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Okay, so let's watch this guy. There it is. Okay, so something happened then. Don't there give too much is. away. Don't give too much away. But if anybody can see let's what... Let's watch the next guy. ...what it is... There it isn't. <laughs> That's me. That's actually me. So I, I, I'm making the same mistake that everybody is. else is making. There it is. Got the back. Okay. Same problem. Same problem. So how long, how long have we been going for so far? I don't even know. Same issue. But we've got the same issue. Let, let's let the whole set run through. So there's, I think there's 12 waves in this set. That guy actually killed it. That guy didn't. That guy didn't make the mistake. Yeah. So that's one. And, but then the second turn he did it. Okay. That guy. That guy did it. Yeah. Um, that's you. So we're going to find out in a minute if you can relate to this. That guy did it. Cool. Let's see this. Uh, we're gonna, we, we are going to finish the set, and then we will go back to the <laughs> full screen. That guy definitely did it. Oh, it's so bad. And that guy did it as well. <laughs> oh, might as well stop there. And now we, let's let's watch the full set just so we can prove that this isn't just one person doing this wrong. This, did it. this is a lot of people that are making this mistake. That's a big set, hey? That guy's definitely doing it. Hey, Ben Cutler, how are you doing? Thanks for tagging in, uh, Tim. Tim, if you end up tuning in and watching. Hi, Tim. Yeah, that's a new set. Okay, that's the so, so this, yeah. is, this is a new set. So, there was one common mistake that everybody was making. Now, before, before we reveal what that is, if you are new to the Ombi channel, then I highly recommend that you head over and download the Ombi app. Inside the Ombi app, you can join the Ombi community. You'll get access to exclusive content that we don't put out here on YouTube. And you'll also get access to the Ombi method, which is your signature program. All of your coaching is based upon the Ombi method, and it's all put into one easy to digest program that's yours for free. It's almost like this holistic way to look at your surfing through a different lens, and then you can easily start to piece together good from bad and fix your surfing. Yeah, so that is yours for free. All you've got to do is head over to the Ombi app. There should be a link in the description down below this video. Uh, Tracy Eels, hey, hey team. Uh, so you're over in uh, Ta Taranaki in New Zealand. I feel bad. I'm here in a jump you're right now. That's freezing. There, you're supposed so. to be working. Well, you're working on your surfing right now, so that's yeah. good. And Corin, good old Corin. Corin is, uh, is a... Hey, Corin, just quick question. Who's got better hair this morning, <laughs> me or Ant? Corin, careful what you say. You know, <laughs> you know that it's me. Anyway, so let's um, let's reveal what this common mistake is, and it is front arm. The front arm. So everybody's body is getting in their own way. Yeah. So 
Yeah, if we go back and replay that. Well, I, I think a really good place to show it is, is in this clip, which is me and you, both at the wave pool. So this, so this, okay. so this was a different day. <laughs> I'm notorious for, for locking my hands together. Hey, okay. hey Ivan, how you doing? Great to, great to have you in. So do you know what's interesting Mexico. here? Mexico. Hey, good day from Mexico. All right, so I'm riding a six foot 10 mid-length. Yep. You're on a six foot one high performance shortboard. Uh, on, so I am on a 20. Oh, you're on a 20. Yeah, okay, yeah, what a, size is I'm that? On a 20. 5, 10. Uh, no, that's 6 out. 6, six out. Okay. So basically, it is almost a, a foot difference in board length. Yeah. So in theory, it should be harder for me to turn my board around. It should be easier for you. Okay. Yeah. So if we go into this particular turn here, because it's almost like back to back. Yeah. So, so if you're in the community, you'll know how much I frothed on, the, on this wave once before. But this wasn't planned. It just happened that me and Clay surfing the wave pool with surfing one behind the other, and it just timed perfectly. Like it, this, and this shows <laughs> the mistake. Sick, right? this, like it's, it's, this is crazy good. This is one of my favorite clips, just because of it shows you the good versus the bad in real well, time. What I'm seeing here is I've twisted and you've closed. Yeah. And so can, can you, so you, you say closed, just for everybody watching, can you highlight exactly what it is that is closed? All right, so, so imagine this. There's a person standing over here and there's another person over there and you want to pass them a cup of tea with your right hand. Hey Armando, how you doing? Okay, so basically all you want to do is take this arm and pass a cup of tea to that person there. Does it make sense? Makes perfect sense. Okay, so I, I, do it. <laughs> I look around at the foam and there's my teacup coming around. How come you haven't twisted around? Why are you looking that way when your board could in theory, do that turn easier than my board could. I'll tell you why. It's that because front my arm. shoulder gets in the way. So watch, watch your front arm close. Can you just, can, I, I, I don't mean to just be completely stupid. Can you actually draw a circle around the arm that you're actually talking about? Just to make it black and white, clear, as clear as, as, as glass. It's not very okay. good terminology, is it? <clears throat> so clear as soap. So watch this. So, so right there, my arm goes behind my back yep. and, and yep. yours closes. So yeah, so my hand comes across. Yep. <clears throat> okay, so in theory, what that does is it, it closes your turn, mm. whereas I got my hand out of the way. So let's go full screen. Let's go full screen. While, while we go full screen, um, I just want to just bring up this. Corin has said that apparently you're looking very grown up today. Thank you very much. This is the first day ever. And it's a Monday. Yeah. I can guarantee you that by Monday afternoon, you will not look so grown up. And uh, Mando Man, what's up from Carlsbad, California? Hey. This is uh, obviously a good time zone for you guys over there in California. Maybe we'll do yeah. a few more lives at this time. Normally, we got oh, uh, we UK and Australia, so this is good. All right, so uh, the big thing. Yep. Um, imagine trying to throw a baseball or a tennis ball, cricket ball, whatever it is, but your front arm's in the way and it doesn't move. So as you go to throw, it kind of it locks you up. Yeah, right. Okay, so, so that's almost what's happening with the body is the shoulder's closing. Um, think about tennis. If you want to hit, the, hit a tennis ball really hard, you throw the ball up, but then you move it so that you can, you can hit. Mm. And same in boxing, you, you, you throw your punch, so there's that twist effect. Yeah. Okay, now what happens in surfing? There's two ways to turn. You've got leaning and you've got twisting. So think about riding a bicycle. If you're going slow, you will twist your handlebars. Mm -hmm. But if you're going fast, you may lean. Now in surfing, if you're twisting, and if something happens that your twist doesn't work, it defaults to a lean. So if your twist doesn't work, it defaults to a lean. Yeah. Okay, so if yeah. you're riding a bicycle, and that's why kids fall. If they don't use the twist, they'll start leaning and they'll fall over. Bang. Mm -hmm. So on the cutback, sometimes you don't have enough speed. So you need to open up on the twist to get back to the foam. Yeah. But if this arm shuts down, your twist will default to a lean. And then you'll see all the hand coordination go weird and they, they kind of lose it. Yeah. Okay. So it's very interesting. Why do you think there's that knee-jerk reflex reaction where you cut your turn short, because watch ya, you're on the way there, and then boom. I think, 
Sorry, you didn't, you didn't see then, but there. So I think I think that with this, why why does my arm cut? It's so one. It's an ingrained habit of me constantly closing off. I think two. Part of it comes from you're worried that you're going to get. So you want to get down the line, which I think a lot of intermediate surfers do. They're constantly racing down the line rather than going back and and, and tagging the phone. Okay, I, I want to show you something here. All right. So from there, let's just count this in one, two, three four, five, and hit the phone, mm -hmm. all right? Zoom out just a little bit. Right, now, from when you go to the top of the wave, you don't go to the top, you mid-face, and then it's one, two, and you cut your turn short. Yeah, oh, look, at, I know that we're, we're only trying to fix one, <laughs> one thing in this video, which is just one thing, but if you look at my back knee, I think the, the fact that my back knee is at that angle stops, is part of the reason why my, why my shoulder, look, you look at your knee, your, your knee's coming forwards. My knee is almost, I've gone into almost that sort of poo man, sat down at a desk kind of stance there. Okay, so you're squatting, yeah. I'm lunging. Yeah. And that's all because I have twisted. So think of a golf swing. When you follow through on the golf swing, you do go from a squat position, but you end up in this lunge when you drive your hip and you drive your ball. Yeah. Okay, so I'm actually, although you're bigger, taller, heavier than me, I'm potentially maybe throwing more spray than you because I'm driving through my turn and I'm turning longer. Yep. Okay, so if, don't laugh at your own joke, it's not cool. <laughs> if, if this was golf and you cut your turn short, yep. you would lose power. Yeah. So why do you think you're cutting your turn short? And it's not just the front arm. The, the front arm's a, re, a, a reflex reaction but why are you rushing? Why aren't you going all the way around to the phone? What's going on? Because there's an underlying cause here. Why does the front arm get in the way? Why do people cut turns short? Because they're scared of the, I think there's a fear that kicks in. Well, you're not reading the wave. Yeah. The, the very first thing in the ombi is the O. It's yeah. like you need to look. So look at what I'm doing here. I'm looking, looking, looking all the way around. Why have you stopped looking? Yeah, right. Okay, so where the head goes, the body follows, and then the board follows the body. Yeah. So you, you, you're not looking and reading the wave and then hitting your dots. Yep. You're worried about what's happening down the line, maybe, or making the future turn. Mm -hmm. So there's a lack of commitment. Yeah. Okay, so that means that straight after the O and Ombi, we've got M. Yeah, we've got okay, mind. mind. Why have you lost your mind? Then your body's kicking into this knee-jerk, reflexive yeah, pattern yeah. where the arm gets in the way, and then your board cuts so the turn short. I go flat as well, look, look how flat I am. Exactly. Okay, so how do we go about fixing this one thing? Well, pay attention to the wave. Yep. Relax through the turns. Make sure you hit your dots. Because you're looking, the body will know what to do. It won't act like reflexively just yeah. Like wig out. And then your board will fit into the curve of the wave and I promise you your board will feel better. Yeah. So let's let's take a quick look at a couple of people that, that do do it really well. We've got good old Tom Curran and we've got Ethan Ewing. So let's look at what should happen when you get the shoulder out of the way. So first up let's bring up Tom Curran. You can you can be in charge of this. Okay, so we'll slide. play it once. Oh, look how long he turns for. Yeah, the hold, hold, hold. Open up that shoulder and hold, hold. Okay, what? Oh, sorry. I know you just said clay, stick to one thing. We're talking about. All right, about we're going off on tangents. Look at it how low his bum is to the water. Oops. There, look at how low that is. A lot of people, when they surf, they stand on the board. The board won't turn. So basically, Tom's leaning yeah. and he's twisting. Look at the front arm. It's out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Yeah, Mark's got a really good comment, which I'm going to bring up in a minute. Mark, I, I, I love the comment that you've just put in there. So. Right there, compared to my lunge, Tom's way out lunging me. Mm. And he's way out twisting me. And then watch his head below his body. Yep. So even on the rebound, I stand up too straight. Tom's upside down. Yeah. So he's utilizing his rails so much more. Yeah. The people whose um, arms are getting in the way, they surf flat and they're stopping. So that was an absolutely timeless turn from Tom Curran. Yeah, well, got, so we'll, we'll show you Ethan in a moment, but Mark uh, Pura, Pura, Pura Vida, I'm hopefully I'm pronouncing your surname right, 
You just made a really good comment there. Because you need familiarity on twisting your body and head, it doesn't come naturally, which I think is a really good comment. And it's the reason why at Ombi we focus so much on land-based drills, because in the water there's so much going on, it's hard for you to think about working on a specific technique. You don't want to try to figure it out in the water mm. because you'll spend hours and you probably won't do it. Yeah. You need to figure this stuff out out of the water and get control of your body and the movements and then take that feeling into the water. Having said that, can we bring up Ethan Ewing? Yeah, we, we can, but Mark, you're, I just, just want to say, Mark, you're absolutely right, which is that, familiar, that familiarity you can, you can achieve by, by doing drills on land, surf skates, um, cardboard, some of the cardboard stuff where we do the twisty stuff. All of that stuff can be trained on land so that you build up that familiarity. So awesome, awesome comment there, Mark. Love it. Let's, let's bring up Ethan and then we will wrap things up. Let's, uh, there's one little clip here. This is, this is oh, Ethan in, in, in Mexico. So Ivan, Ivan, he's... Yeah, home Ethan, break, bro. Ethan, over, your, uh, over at your neck of the world. So th that is a proper solid overhead wave. So where's he looking over here? So the head twist, looking back, passing the coffee. It is nuts. And then he... He holds that turn further all the way to the phone. Yeah, and one, one more afterwards, I think, as well. And then he, well, oh, gee, was... So uh, Ivan's asked, yep. let me bring the comment up on the screen so everyone can see it, does thinking about the top turn before the bottom turn help, help you to be, like, ready? Does thinking about the top turn before the bottom turn help? No. Why? Because you're thinking about it. So okay. when you think about something, you, you're going to hesitate and not be able to do it. Mm. It's, it's kind of like, I always say, you know on your phone when you, you've typed in too much stuff and you get the circle just going around, your phone's thinking, and you're like, oh, there's, of doom. there's a timeout. When you're thinking about it, you're doing a timeout. Um, it's more like riding a bicycle where you're turning and you're looking at where you're going. And then it's, it's a case of, do I want more turning or less turning? And you bring in a sense of feeling to the turn and subtle adjustments mm. that allow for better turning. Um, basically, you want awareness. You don't that's, want thinking. That question there, yeah. So um, just very quickly here on that, you often talk about playing in your, in your strike zone. Yeah. So and I think that could be one of the big mistakes that a lot of your average surfers make, your intermediate surfers make, is they don't, they're looking so far into the future that they're missing what is right in front of them at that moment in time. Yeah, so they're not in the moment, so they can't finish the moment and they can't see it yeah. because they're worried about what's happening in the future. And that is making them go into flight mode where they, they're they almost doing too much, they're moving too much, and they're trying to rush the turns to get to the future. Whereas if you're in the moment, you want to prolong that moment, you actually want to enjoy it. Yeah. So you'll take the time to finish your turns. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Mark's um, just put in, passing the coffee cup helped me to complete my twist. Thanks, guys. So anybody who's new to new new, new to the channel or, or doesn't uh, know the Ombi thing, hang on a second. <laughs> hang on a second. I know you're excited. So when, when Mark's talking about passing the coffee, this is one of the this is one of the trigger words that we use in Ombi. And by using trigger words, it simplifies the whole process down into a simple word that then triggers an action. And passing the coffee is is one of those things. You can find out more about that if you head over and download well, the app. The big thing with Ombi is that we say that you know how to surf. You just haven't applied what you know and laugh to your waves. So yeah. when you do pass a coffee cup on a cutback and look where you want to go, you'll Talking be surprised that it actually tea. works. Coffee. Um, interesting thing though, Ant, we had a session on the ramp where I sneakily slip in a couple of coaching yeah. tips to you and you absolutely hate it and you tell me to go away. But the only thing I did to you is I said, stop trying, stop trying, stop trying, stop trying. Look where you want to go and pass the coffee. Yeah, so, so I, 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 I'm just going to bring up this, this one here and I'm going to tell you something here on that. Uh, Mando, man, you guys are awesome. Uh, great information. Thanks, Mando. And uh, if, you are, if, if you are new to, to the Ombi community, then, then welcome. It's great to have you here on board. What you just said then about you giving me a little bit of coaching is I think that as, a, that as an intermediate surfer, I, I am always trying. But 
Trying is just thinking about doing rather than just doing. doing. And, when, and, and when I just trust you and just do what you tell me to do rather than thinking about doing what you're telling me to do, it just happens. Like that first time I got and the And then barrel. you get so angry with me. It's like, oh, damn you, it was so easy. Yeah, but in the, in the nicest possible way. I'm, I'm not really angry with you. I'm oh, actually so, angry so, with So that answers with, the question from, from earlier where he asked about thinking. Okay, so this so question here, just thinking about the top turn. Yeah, so you don't want to think, you want to do. Yeah, that's thinking about doing. And then while, while you're doing, you're feeling. Yeah. That, that's how you surf. Yeah. I think you just have a light bulb moment about how to explain it. Well. <laughs> but it, it, it sounds very Yoda-esque, this whole thinking about, uh, so trying is thinking about doing rather than just doing. But yeah. Well, that's why a coffee cup's so impo important. Yeah. Because you, you go, oh, it's silly, pass the coffee. But when you do. It stops you, you thinking. And then you actually get the turn done. Yeah. And it all clicks. Yeah. So that's the power of these really stupid Ombi terms. Because yeah. think about it, they're ridiculous. I mean, an Oreo biscuit, a coffee cup. Yeah, what I'd love actually is, is anybody who is part of the Ombi community, just type below one of the different phrases that we use, whether that's, I'm, uh, so Clay's just said two, so we'll go those. So, so, so coffee cup and Oreo, they're two things that when you say them, people just go, what are you talking about? But when you understand them, it changes, it changes the game. So, uh, John C, finally catching us guys live. Yeah, we're, look, we're going to do a few more of these lives where we're just going to deal with one issue. Uh, but we While we're doing that, please pick yeah, up yeah, okay. Ethan Ewing. We'll, we'll, we'll get Ethan Ewing back. We'll see what, what we can learn from Ethan Ewing, and then we will... Um, so if you have a look at this section, I mean, compared to the waveful, this is a way more critical, hollower section, right? Smuggle the grapes. <laughs> <laughs> is that surfing related? <laughs> but look at Ethan's arm. It's, it, it doesn't really move. It's yeah. up high. And look at that. Look back at the foam. Well, look at that, that back arm. Just the way that it comes can out of the way there. Can you see that he's exhaling? You can actually see his cheeks over there. He's, he's blowing he's, air yeah, out. Yeah, he can. And then look at... he blew that spray out of the water? Or was, or was that from, a, from his board? <laughs> well, look at the front arm. Look at how he gets it up and out of the way. So that is an absolutely textbook version of moving the front arm out of the way and unlocking Do the job, top turn. So it's <laughs> awesome. Uh, one more quick comment there from Mando. Man, I've been watching you guys since I started surfing. You guys have helped me since day one. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad that we have Mando. That's, uh, that's amazing. So look, to let's just bring this up. Let's just summarize this all now. The one big mistake that a lot of intermediate average surfers are making is that they're closing off that shoulder, which means that they're not being able to open up. They're not seeing what's going on with the wave. Okay, I've got a question. Okay, we're, so we're not finished yet. We're not finished yet. No, stay, we're not stay, quite stay, done. Stay around. So, so we had a, a guy come up from, was it Sydney this weekend that you went surfing with? And um, you told me that you could actually visually see him not s sitting the right part yeah, of the yeah. wave. He wasn't, uh, he was stressing, he was over paddling. And I said to you, how did that make you feel seeing someone make mistakes? Mm. And how did you want to help him? Now, the reason why I'm saying this is that a lot of people are saying, yeah, Ombi is great. Ombi has helped me. But I want to know, like, how have, if we've helped you, how have you helped someone else? Yeah. Because by seeing someone else and maybe offering them that little thing, you could actually turn someone's day around yeah, yeah. from having a shit surf to having the best wave of their life. Mm. And now I'm interested, like, have you guys worked out something that maybe we you could help us yeah. to help other people? Because you're only getting a perspective from two people, but we've got 30,000 followers. Yeah. Like, like, if there's something that you've done that's helped, tell us, because we also want to learn from you guys. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, and that's, that's the beauty of the Ombi community. It isn't, it isn't just a place where you can get some amazing training. It's also a place where you can come together with this international group, like like Clay said, the, I think that the, the Facebook group's up to close up to thirty thousand people now, where they're all giving each other advice, and then within the app, that's where you can then get access to some of the more exclusive stuff that that we do. So it is about paying it forwards, and the way that you can pay it forwards is if you have found this video useful, then you can just share it with a friend, you can tag them below, whatever you need to do to share this around, or when you're out in the water, just if you if, if you're with a mate, then by all means, talk, talk about the things that you are learning uh, through, through the channel. We've got a couple more things that have come in. Is the word focus related to the subject? Is the word focus related to the subject? So, 
yes, you need to have a very narrow focus on the thing that you want to do. Yeah. You don't want to have a broad focus where you're thinking too much. And often when you focus on just that one little thing, like pass the coffee, um, surfing is vi in its simplest form really easy to do. <laughs> but we overcomplicate stuff. We, we bring but so we, we much baggage it, we, to, to riding a wave. We make it so hard. I would say, um, is the word focus related to the subject? Then, like you said, yes. And even if you just were to just focus on the present, like what is happening right now? In this moment. Yeah. What are you feeling right now? What is that wave offering you right now that you can that you can then enhance your skills uh, by taking advantage of what that is, rather than going, yeah. I'm going to get down the line. I'm going to get down the line. We yeah. often talk about fa failing forwards, and I think that you're much better off going for that that section that might be about to close out. So, and how many times do I get people reaching out wanting coaching from me because they're uncomfortable with being in the moment? Mm. And they're worried about what's happened in the past or what's going to potentially happen to them in the future, whereby we go out with them and we just go, stop paddling, how does it feel? Then they feel the lift in the wave and I'm going like, look where you want to go, don't rush the takeoff. And I actually make them comfortable being in the moment. Yeah. And they come back beaming, going, that was so easy. Yeah. Yeah. But then probably two days later, they, like on their own, they, they again start not like they lose that moment fairly quickly. Yeah. So um, it is about being in the moment and being comfortable. Robert agrees 100%. Um, I'm assuming that that comment's coming to what we're talking about right this very second. Uh, so yeah, we've also got Joshua, first time watching you guys. Greetings from Puerto Rico. Hey Joshua, make sure you head over, there should be a link below this video. He head over and download the app, come and join us in there. You can get access to the free uh, Ombi method, uh, which is uh, a really cool program. Look, if anything, use the app as like a search engine for surfing because we've had content writers actually write so much content. There's, there's you just got to type in like fins and stuff will pop up. Yeah. If you type in pop up, honestly, there will be so much information. There's, there's videos, there's, there's absolutely everything. Just use the search function. And what it's good for is that we try to give good information. We don't try to give like, sort yeah. of like too much information. Let me, let me give you a quick, uh, quick gander. So there is, this, this is the, let's have a look, yeah, so you've got the post there, so if, if you go in now you can get two weeks free access to all of the premium content, but all of the free stuff is in there as well, huge community, you can meet up with other people, so you can just type in there, so if I was to type in top turn, um, see what comes up, and you get a whole list of suggestions there as to either what different programs you can, you can watch or other, or other posts uh, that are there on it. But uh, look, don't uh, just just go over there and check it out for yourself. It is completely free to download the app. Obviously, you can get access to our premium stuff uh, in there as well, but you can get two weeks free access. If you head in there now, you get two weeks free access. But the Omni method is yours for free. Um, so we've got Walter, then A, and... <laughs> oh, this, this, this one was good, and we're going to kind of wrap up on this one, and then we'll go into uh, Ethan Ewing. Directionless time in the water isn't productive. Go out with intention. I love that. One of the things which I... Um, I heard somebody say once was, so that they said practice makes perfect, but if you're practicing the wrong technique, it isn't going to make you perfect. Perfect practice makes, makes perfect. Think about that session. Um, we, we went out at Kujin, and you're finding it very hard to catch waves, and you went in oh. sync with the session. Yeah, I was, so, so you're yeah. putting a lot of water time in, but it wasn't productive. No. So I was getting very frustrated. So... I said, go out with the intention of reading the wave and being in the right place. Yeah, well, I reckon it's half an hour into the session. Half an hour into the session, you paddled over and you just went, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you stress paddling for everything? You sat in the wrong place. Why are you sat so far out? Why are you doing this? Why? There was a lot of why you're doing. And you said, do less. Just do this. And it was just this one thing. The next one I caught was absolute gold. And it was just, it, it, was, it was like somebody hit a reset button inside my brain. I was like, yeah, I'm enjoying it again now. Uh, so yeah, awesome. Cool. I love you, Claire. I give you tips to dad and brother all the time. The best. The east coast of the USA. Well, guys, look, we are... We are okay, there's, there's a lot of comments coming in. We'll deal with those. We'll, we'll have a look back through the comments, see if we can answer them uh, underneath. Yeah. But guys, you are absolutely awesome. Thanks for tuning in. If you're watching this on the replay, then make sure you just get a little... Uh, watching this on the replay in the comments below. 
But uh, make sure you stay tuned because we will be popping up doing these random lives. And as I say, if you haven't downloaded the app yet, make sure that you do. And here's a little ad to take us out to tell you all about the app. The Yombi app is a free to download surf community and online surfing coaching platform. In the app, you can get access to exclusive content, including the Ombi method, which is an amazing free online course, which a lot of surfers have already said that that course alone has significantly improved their surfing. By downloading the app, you'll also be joining a huge international community of surfers of all skill levels, supporting and helping each other improve. Also, join the app now and you'll get two weeks free access to our premium content. It's kind of like a Netflix for surfers, where you'll find all of our courses, there'll be land-based drills, water-based training, access to live coaching sessions, and you can also check out our monthly challenges. So what are you waiting for? Download the free Ombi app now and join the Ombiverse.